With the recent successful implantation of the N1 chip by Neuralink into the human brain, it feels like we're entering the beginning of a 2024 Terminator era. Many of us are engaging with Musk's posts on this topic, observing Elon Musk's profound impact on the rapid evolution of the BCI field. However, amidst the excitement, there's a question lingering. Is the reality as frightening as some imagine, especially when the first surgery yields unexpected changes? Welcome to Tesla Global. Your support by subscribing and ringing the bell is appreciated. Now let's delve into today's content. While the specific identity of the patient who underwent the N1 chip implantation remains undisclosed, Musk promptly addressed questions regarding the patient's well-being post-surgery. When queried about the survival rate post-implantation, Musk succinctly responded with recovering well, as reported on X. The breakthrough potential of Neuralink with its first implant is evident. Transitioning from detailed research projects, Neuralink has officially entered the realm of pioneering companies in brain-computer interface research through the inaugural human head implantation conducted by Musk in a non-disclosed case. A striking 90% of the initial patients received the exclusive N1 implant chip, boasting a remarkably small diameter and size of 23 by 8 mm, comprised of one, 24 electrodes distributed across 64 threads, each thread is finer than a human hair. In contrast to other invasive chips such as the Utah Array, the N1 chip induces less pain and exhibits a significantly reduced rate of body rejection. In addition to utilizing the safest and most advanced implant chip technology in the BCI field, the first patient also underwent the complete prime study process using two cutting-edge linking tools of the Neuralink chip, the implantable robot R1 and the user application N1. While the specifics of the implant procedure cannot be disclosed due to technological security measures, we can provide insight into the authentic experience of the first patient. Initially, a small circular opening aligned in size with the N1 chip is created in the patient's skull by a skilled specialist doctor. Subsequently, the computer interfaces with the surgical robot R1 to determine the electrode placement, and the robot implants the electrodes at the designated position with a depth of only a few millimeters below the soft tissue. Finally, the N1 chip is positioned near the surface of the skull, close to the top of the head, and the incision is sutured closed. After a successful implantation surgery, the patient stays in a coma for at least three days. Then they wake up. The N1 chip is then activated. Through the chip in the brain, it wirelessly transmits and records brain signals via a Bluetooth system connected to the N1 user app where the signals are analyzed and converted into commands for a computer or phone. The computer then encrypts these commands into actions. The entire process can easily be understood in this way. We cannot ascertain the specific extent of the patient's disability or neurological issues, but considering their approach to Neuralink, it is possible that they may be paralyzed and unable to perform activities independently or even more severely may have lost the ability to communicate. To obtain human testing approval, the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, gave the green light to Neuralink for its first human trials in September 2023, after a prolonged period of non-approval due to some controversies and reliability concerns that the company had not been able to address. However, ultimately, Musk demonstrated safety both on paper and in reality following the surgery, as Musk stated, the patient has shown significant recovery, and he also added that initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Neuron spike is a term commonly used to describe the short, intense electrical activity of a nerve cell. More precisely, the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke describes neurons as using electrical and chemical signals to transmit information within the brain and to the body. 
according to Queensland Brain Institute mutations, occur when nerve cells communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals, enabling us to move, think, form memories, and more. Musk mentioned on Tuesday in another post that the results of the implantation have brought Neural closer to the launch of its first product called the Telepathy. So, will Neuralink comprehensively replace lost functions? According to Elon Musk's latest updates on the most recent implantation case, the patient will be enabled to control your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. Initial users will be those who have lost the use of their limbs. Musk does not promise that telepathy will help patients fully restore all their functions, but according to him, it can create benefits that someone with disabilities desire. Not stopping there, we can clearly see signs of strong ambition for Neuralink as Musk continues to write, then imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. How terrible could Neuralink be if hackers invade? Although offering substantial advantages for individuals suffering from neurological disorders like Parkinson's or severe injuries, what worries people the most is the potential vulnerability of Neuralink to malicious entities, which could result in a Terminator scenario. We also share the same viewpoint because any computer system and chip can easily be vulnerable to hacking at any time, even with Elon Musk heavily emphasizing security measures for Neuralink. The majority's concern about this is entirely justified because, as you know, the consequences could be unimaginable. Currently, Neuralink is still limited in achievements and the number of patients using it, making the likelihood of intrusion impossible. However, it is evident that Musk needs to prepare safety protocols for users when they undergo implantation. What are your thoughts on the risk associated with Neuralink? Share your comments below. As of 2024, Neuralink isn't the sole player in brain chip interface research. Most advancements in this emerging field are occurring in academic settings. Brain Computer Interface, BCI technology, has been in development by scientists since 1978, but recent investments from venture capitalists have accelerated progress. Apart from Neuralink, BCI Synchron has made significant advancements, surpassing Neuralink in clinical trials with their brain chip in July 2021. In a promotional video, they showcased their brain Bluetooth, enabling two paralyzed individuals to independently perform tasks like sending emails, texts, shopping and banking, an achievement not yet reached by Musk. However, the future trajectory of this rapidly evolving field remains uncertain. Overall, Neuralink holds promise in significantly improving the lives of individuals facing severe disabilities stemming from nervous system damage. However, it's crucial to underscore that Neuralink does not have the capability to interpret thoughts or emotions. It solely operates by transmitting and receiving basic brain signals related to motor planning. While Elon Musk has mentioned potential features like memory downloading and surveillance, these functionalities remain largely speculative according to neuroscientists. Scientifically, the technology is primarily tailored to assist individuals with profound neurological impairments, such as those resulting from serious accidents. It is not intended for widespread use or for individuals with less severe injuries. Despite successful surgeries, the inherent risks of invasive procedures necessitate ongoing observation of Elon Musk's technology and the long-term effects on patients following years of chip utilization. Only through continued scrutiny can the comprehensive effectiveness of the technology be thoroughly assessed. What are your thoughts on the future potential of Neuralink for eligible transplant patients and what advancements do you believe are necessary to mitigate criticism from the majority? Your contributions are valued, and we hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed it,
please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel to become part of the Tesla Global Squad. Don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell icon so you won't miss any of our exciting content. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Stay safe and have a great time.